Okay, hello. And when I say hello, I mean everybody from St. Mary's, St. Joseph's and St. Gregory's. Um, we're here, I'm sitting in my old classroom at St. Mary's and um, we're putting a little video together for a bit of an assembly this morning. The main reason to doing that is to really say well done for continuing with your work during the virus. We're so proud of the way that you've been homeschooling, really proud of the way your parents are supporting you. We know it's not easy. Um, we hope you're sticking together and staying safe and uh, washing your hands and also clapping your hands on a Thursday night for our key workers. Um, the virus has gotten on our nerves. So we can't wait to get you back into school. We're really, really looking forward to that day. And um, what we wanted to do is make sure when we come back into school, um, we're not sure who will be in and when we'll be in. A lot of that is not decided yet. We don't know when that's going to be. So we wanted a real opportunity to celebrate some of your work and also to say thank you uh, for some of the lovely messages you've been sending in and all the work you've been send sending back. So we are very, very proud of you. We miss you terribly and we're looking forward um, to the day that we can come back to school. And we also don't want you to worry because we think you're doing a great job. And what I also want you to remember is that the only good thing about this pesky virus is that for the most part, it doesn't affect the children too much. So you don't need to worry about it. And what we wanted to do with today's assembly was to really celebrate all the work that you're doing at home because we are so very, very proud of you. And we've been enjoying all the little video messages uh, a couple of them have given us a tear in our eye. I know Mrs Avery had a little cry the other day when she saw the year six one. Okay, so I was gonna sit here and read out your work myself, but then as a family, we had a little bit of an idea. So we've put a little video treat for you together uh, to celebrate some of your work. I hope you enjoy it. Right, so we're a nice normal family, right? Right. We are filming. Okay, right. How much are we getting paid for this? You're not getting paid anything. The money's all gone on hand sanitizer and a face mask for Brian. All right, all right. I'll tell you what. Twenty pounds. But uh, 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 but you get it at the end if you manage to stay to the end. Anyway, take that gun out. Right. So I've asked you to do some research. Get together some celebrities. Give the kids a bit of a lift in lockdown. Okay. I'm excited about this. So I am going first. Are you ready? Yeah. Rod Dahl. It's Roll Dahl, Dad. But best writer of our generation. Dad, there's a problem with that one. What's that? Okay, well, if you're such a smarty pants teenager, why don't you go first? I will. David Williams, read it and weep. Top track number one. He's like the role doll of our generation. And it's actually right. Isn't it David Williams? No. No, no Dad. Dad. David Williams, awful auntie, and thanks the granny. Okay, I get it. I like him, and do you know what? He looks good in a wetsuit too. So, twins, your choice. Who's next? Ashley Bando. <laughs> good choice. You both like him? Yes, father. Yes, father. Excellent manners. You could learn a lot from those two. Okay, I did say good choice, but he's going to have to learn to dance two metres away from his mates if his career is going to continue. Wait, Dad, that's weird. When do they like start working, you know, together? Uh, they've been doing it for about a month, but you wouldn't know because you've been locked in your room watching Netflix. Anyway, my go. Boom. Clive Webster. Who? Dad, isn't that your boss? We should put him in there to suck up to him and get his good books. It would be an honour for anyone to have their work read out by Clive Webster. No. It was my going anyway. Ready? Boom! Amanda Holden. Top trunk number two. Okay, look, I'd say that's a really good choice. It's nice to have a young girl in there. I listen to her on the radio in the morning. In her 20s, I the know, girls are like... She's 49. She's 49? Yeah. But she hasn't got a wrinkle on her. Your mum's 41. Yeah, but ageing doesn't apply to famous people. She's 49. Okay, 49. All right, good choice. Twins, who you got? Dermot O'Leary. Good choice, good choice. You've got a businessman in there, okay? Ryanair, runs the airline. He's Irish as well, Irish Catholic school. You're so embarrassing. Dermot O'Leary from X Factor. He was in that um, soccer raid thing you like. Oh yeah, with Robin Williams. You have not got a clue, have you? No. Right, I'm really excited about this one. Okay, biggest man on Saturday night television. 
Stephen Mulhern. In for a penny, in for a pound. Is that what I want? Mum really likes him, but until she gets hold of Amanda Holden's face cream, she's going to have to stick with me. Okay, now, I was choosing twins between Stephen Mulhern or Ant and Dan. Who do you, not you, what do you think? Stephen, Dan, Ant and Dan are always together. Bit weird, Mulhern is funnier. Okay, your mum would be really, really happy with that choice. And also, he's much better at driving than those two. Have you seen that parking game that he does? Yeah, it's cool, it's cool. Okay, I've got my next one. Are you ready? My next one. I'm excited about this one too. Actually, I'm not sure it's my go. The Tiger King. Not appropriate, Dad. Okay. We just got that off Netflix. I, yeah, well, okay, you told me to do research and keep it current. Yeah, but Dad, you obviously haven't only, you've only seen episode one. So is there a problem with that one as well? Yes! What's the problem? Okay. Bryony, we'll edit that one out, okay? No, 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 keep it in. Anyway, it was my go. Ready? Holly Willoughby and Philip Schofield. Top track number three. Right, listen, excellent choice, excellent choice. He does that Christmas show that everyone likes. She's on everything. Yeah. We'll, we'll go for that. What about Eamon Holmes as well? No, Holly and Philip are perfect. Besides, he's not getting any good phone service at the moment. You probably won't be able to reach him. Yeah, good point. Okay. I'll go, I'll go. Clive Webster, excellent choice girls. I'll tell you what, because you've chosen Clive Webster, you two can have a little bit more money. Unbelievable! Anyway, let's have another one of your last sad choices. Right, it's not a sad choice actually, because I did do my research, okay? Boom, Alicia Dixon, X Factor and Strictly, done both, okay? Down with the kids. Do you even know anything about her? I know lots about her from Wikipedia. She's 41, the same age as your mother. She's a 1 metre 69 in height. And here's an interesting fact. She breathes really slow. This is too embarrassing. I'm out. It's a song, you fool. Breathe slow. Breathe slow. Okay, so she stropped off, which means you get the money. Happy with the list? It needs a set of twins in it. What about Dr. Chris and Dr. Zand? Great shout. We might not get both of them because it's locked down and they don't live together. Let's get the messages out to these people. Centaur! Oh yeah, what about Michael McIntyre? Yeah, good idea. It's Dr. Zahn from Operation Ouch and this is a message for all the pupils and all the staff at St. Gregory's in Margate, St. Mary's in Whitstable and St. Joseph's in Broadstairs and especially to your headmaster, Chris Wright. I just wanted to say, I know we're all having a very rough time in the pandemic, but I've also seen some of the amazing things that you've been doing to help yourselves learn, to keep yourselves amused, and you are doing a brilliant job. Pandemics do pass. And one of the things is that it is an opportunity to learn more about the planet and how to look after the planet and how to look after each other. So it's not all bad things, but I know it can be very tough not seeing your friends and not seeing your teachers, not being able to run around and go outside as much as you'd want to. So I'm thinking of all of you. You're doing a brilliant job. And because because I haven't been able to film Operation Out in the lab the way that I like to, I've had to turn my kitchen into the lab. There you go. And that's top secret because no one's meant to know that the secret lab has become my kitchen. Um, as well as that, uh, there's a couple of other people who wanted to say hello and what a brilliant job you're all doing. First of all, Billy Bones. Hi, everybody. And uh, not only that, but there's someone in my fridge who wants to say a big shout out to everyone. It's me. I hope you're all doing really well. Look after yourselves and look after your grown-ups. Bye! Okay, if you really like that from Dr. Zand, then you're going to love this and you deserve it for all the hard work you've been doing. See you soon. Hello, Lola Jade from St. Gregory School in Margate. This is David Williams and I'm hugely impressed by all the research you've done on dinosaurs and your fantastic dinosaur feet. I want a pair right now. A huge well done to you. Hello, Ava at St. Joseph's School in Broadstairs. I'm David Williams, and I was very impressed by the rainbow pot you made. I think it's a fantastic way of saying thank you to all those incredible doctors and nurses in the National Health Service that are working so hard to keep us all safe. And it's a beautiful pot too. So well 
done you. A big hello to Ned at St Mary's School in Whitstable. I'm David Williams and I was very impressed by your acrostic poem on mini beasts. I didn't even know what acrostic meant, so I had to look it up. But I was super impressed. It's a fantastic poem and very, very clever. So well done you. You get my golden buzzer. Gracie, a girl after my own heart. A, you live in Broadstairs, which is one of my favorite towns in the world because my wife's from there. B, you've done an incredible project uh, about the circle, the circle of life, explained by Gracie. And life cycles are incredibly important in the kind of medicine that I do. I do tropical medicine. And so understanding how the different stages of different animals, um, maybe when you're learning it at school, you can be like, oh, why am I learning this? But I tell you what, when you come to figuring out how diseases work, lots of diseases are caused by bugs that have to get into your body. Sometimes they're drilling through your skin. Sometimes they're getting through your mouth or your nose. Um, and then they wiggle around in your guts and have all kinds of different stages of their lives where they go. They might go um, into your skin and then get into your liver and then travel into your lungs then you cough them up and then you swallow them and then they go into your gut and then they hatch and then it comes out in your poo and then it goes into another animal. See, you're just a legend because I love your illustrations. So I think your family should treat you and take you down Morelli's for a lot of ice cream when Corona clears. Um, and I hope to see you down there. Well done, darling. Congratulations. Alexandra, age 10 from St. Gregory's in Margate. What a great idea about the clothing, it's fantastic. What a great job. I was just reading it just now. Uh, uh, special gloves, special shoes, special hat, some sort of magic potion, I think it was, to, to cure corona. Uh, you're a legend. The government needs to sign you up immediately. Uh, well done, Alexandra, you're a legend. Mwah. Zach and Eva, you guys are twins. You're both seven from St. Joseph's. I saw your home wall and I thought it was brilliant. We're all missing people right now, but the way you guys put that wall together so beautifully to kind of remind you of all of those faces that you miss, I thought that was lovely, guys. So loads of love and well done. I loved it. So Ronnie, you are only five. Amelia, you are eight. And Reese, you are 11. And you guys are all from St. Gregory's. And I've heard that you guys are keeping fit and active by having family football games in the garden which I love because I'm rubbish at football, right? I can't play football to save my life. I love to dance, you know, and I'm, I'm pretty good at that, but maybe one day you guys can teach me how to play football, okay? So well done, keep playing, keep active, and I'll see you guys soon. 11-year-old Kyan from St. Mary's, I saw all of that amazing work you did researching the Titanic, and I thought it was incredible. When I was younger, me and my little brother Jordan used to know every single word from the film about the Titanic. But don't to anybody, because that's our little secret. But I just wanted to do you a little message to say, well done, thought your work was amazing. Keep it up and I'll see you soon. Hi Alba, aged five from St. Joseph's Broadstairs. Well done on using your living room to work out the numbers. And I thought that was very clever that you used your toys. Good girl. Well done. Keep up the good work. Mwah. Hi Chantel, hi Isabella from St Gregory's Margate. I just wanted to say well done girls on doing your exercises every single day. Joe Wicks is wonderful, we do him in our house too. So keep up the good work, stay active, stay positive, lots of love. Bonnie, aged five from St Mary's in Whitstable, you have been growing a tremendous beanstalk in the garden. It looks amazing, excellent growing, well done. Maybe I'll see it from my own window soon. Danielle, age seven, from St Gregory's, Margate. I just wanted to say that I thought you looked absolutely beautiful in your Titanic dress. Well done. It's Doctor's Aunt, and this is a message for Eliza, aged eight, at St Mary's Whitstable. I saw your amazing poster of the rainforest. It was very impressive, and so I tried to sort of climb inside my own rainforest plant here, which is called a Swiss cheese plant, or a Monstera plant, because it's got these uh, big holes, uh, and we don't quite know why it has holes, but it might help it uh, resist wind, or possibly uh, get more light to the lower leaves if it, if it grows in a rainforest, which it does. It likes to do at the moment. It's in my kitchen. Anyway, I want to say I loved your poster. 
coast. The rainforests are massively important. Uh, the pandemic we're having at the moment, the virus, uh, vi new viruses often do come out of rainforests, but that's a really good reason to not disturb rainforests except to study them and learn more about them because we also get loads of valuable medicines from them. Uh, so I hope you're doing all right in the pandemic and brilliant work looking after the rainforest and doing an incredible poster of it. It's Dr. Zand and this is a message for George, aged four, at St. Joseph's Broadstairs. I just wanted to say I thought your dinosaur, which I'm pretty sure was made out of Nerf gun bullets, was amazing. Uh, you really had the, uh, the tail and all the structure and that's much better than using Nerf gun bullets to shoot at the grown-ups looking after you in the middle of a pandemic, which would be very annoying for them. Uh, dinosaurs are brilliant. We only know about them from their fossilised bones. And I'll tell you who else knows a lot about bones. And that is Billy Bones. I mean, it's even right there in his name. He's called Billy Bones. Uh, brilliant work on the dinosaur. Brilliant work, George. Bye! Hallie, aged four, at St Mary's Whitstable. It's Dr Zand. I saw your poster about people who help you. It's so brilliant. There's nothing more important in the world than helping other people. Uh, that's why I became a doctor. I like helping people. It always makes you feel good. And then they'll help you in return. Uh, so it's a whole brilliant thing. And at the moment, especially in the pandemic, with the coronavirus going around, helping people is more important than ever. And doing posters about it helps us remember them and say thank you. Brilliant work. Keep helping people. Look after yourself. Bye. Hi, everyone. It's Clive Webster here. Chief Executive of your Kent Catholic Schools Partnership. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone at St Gregory's, St Joseph's and St Mary's for doing such a fantastic job looking after all of our children and supporting our key workers. I want to say a special shout out for Mrs Claire Reed of St Joseph's who's been in every day making sure everyone's happy and safe. Thank you. Hello Romeo, it's Holly here. I just wanted to say well done on your brilliant picture. Now you are seven years old, you go to St Joseph's in Broadstairs. Um, I know that you and your class were asked to create a poster to explain photosynthesis. I could barely say it, let alone do a poster of it. I've actually concentrated quite hard on this because I always found this very tricky at school and I think your picture shows it very clearly and now finally I understand. So well done you. This is a message for Kieran. Kieran, you are five years old from St Gregory's in Margate. What a beautiful picture you've made here. You've been on your daily walk, which of course we're all allowed to do, and you've collected some flowers and leaves and you've produced a really beautiful bird. It's very, very clever and I absolutely love it. And daisies are one of my favourite flowers, actually. Well done, you. So this is a message for a very clever young man called Aaron from year one. Now, Aaron, you go to St Mary's in Whitstable and I just wanted to say, I've seen this picture you've drawn. Uh, you're very clever. I think you've done this on your computer, which is remarkable. What's even more remarkable is you've managed to wrestle the computer of your dad in order to do this. Um, it's a spring picture and it's beautiful. I mean, it really does sum up that gorgeous weather we're having outside. So well done, you. Hi to the Noble family. Um, here's a picture that, uh, that you've sent. <laughs> this is a beauty. Um, they, uh, they're in St Mary's in Whitstable and, uh, and they're uh, doing a hen rap as a music project. A hen rap, which intrigues me because I don't see any chickens or hens wrapped up there at all. <laughs> but nevertheless, that is a great picture and it's a shame that I can't hear what you're doing. Uh, I wanted to say hi to Annika. Uh, Annika's eight, goes to St Gregory's in Margate, and this is her picture, and it's a beauty. Love the hearts, Annika, as part of uh, your RE learning. Uh, you've been thinking about all the things that you're thankful for, and I, I like that list. That's a lot of things to be thankful for. Hiya, Finley. Let's have a look at your picture. Uh, so, uh, so Finley six goes to St Joseph's in Broadstairs um, for RE year one. Um, everyone was asked to show a symbol of Easter. And, uh, and there's Finley, so he chose to do this lovely Easter collage. And that's a lovely smile as well, Finley. Well done, great picture. Hello, everybody. It is Stephen Mulherney. I just want to say a big hello, because I know you're all watching this for your online assembly. And let me tell you now, I have got some very special treats here. Take a look at these. First up, I've got Kieran. Hello to you, Kieran. He's 11 years old from St Joseph's in Broadstairs. He's made a mask out of salt dough for his home learning task. Good work, Kieran. Spot on, my man. Very good indeed. Next up is Grace, who is six years old, 
and she's from St Mary's in Whitstable. She's done a spring poem. Now, Grace, I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to read your poems, OK? Thank you. Uh, she's done a poem about spring lambs. It says, they look warm and fluffy, the lamb is white. The sound that a lamb makes is bar. A lamb is smaller than a sheep. I think that a lamb would feel soft and I would like to stroke one. The lamb gets chased by its mummy. Grace, thank you very much indeed. And last but by no means least, we've got Enzo who's seven and Sky who is three from St. Gregory's in Margate. And they've done a lovely message for their local community that says, stay safe, everyone. It is brilliant and perfect way to end. Stay safe, everybody. And hopefully one day I'll get to meet you face to face. See ya. Bye. I hope you enjoyed assembly. Well done to all the staff and pupils of St Mary's, Whitstable, St Joseph's, Broadstairs and St Gregory's in Margate. Keep up with your homework. You are doing a brilliant job. OK, we hope that was a real treat for you. I think next time it'll have to be back to boring old me. Um, what I would say is we're really, really, really looking forward to getting you back in. And we're working really, really hard to make the school as safe as it can be uh, when you return. We've ordered lots of hand sanitizer. We've got soap everywhere and the caretakers are working really hard to measure out two meters in the corridor so we can stay safe. And remember, it's not just to keep uh, you uh, free from the virus, which because it doesn't seem to affect children badly at all, but it's also to keep the adults safe as well. And so stay safe at home, keep doing your homeschooling, and we really hope to see you all very soon. Bye.